is the tool that identifies without any doubt a fisherman. Obviously it is the fishing rod. In this event we will talk about the last born at home Imperial Fishing. Max Nola Temptation MK3. MK3 version, that we have the third generation of the Temptation series. Broadly it follows the footsteps of previous generations, because it is not so easy to upgrade a product already perfect made exclusively in version 12 feet and poundage from 2, 75 pounds to 3, 25 pounds, therefore absolutely unique in its kind. Certainly, on this rod, could not miss some very special measures both in terms of construction both in aesthetic terms, and together let's find out what they are. Let's start with broadly describe the material used for this rod. Obviously the carbon, but it is an high quality carbon and it can be seen more clearly from the final response in terms of pleasantness of use and that the rod is able to give to the angler. We are talking about a carbon high modulus called IM7. This will ensure that the rod is always very responsive but at the same same time very enjoyable to use with each type of prey and in any fishing situation. So whether you will use this rod to fight our small or large prey that they are from the bank rather than by boat also to fish and is a short distance and to long range. With this tool we will always have the best in performance and fun. Let's see now the rings mounted on this rod. 7 classical sick, so strong and uncompromising quality. One of the technical aspects applied to this rod is inherent precisely the way in which the ligatures of the rings are made. An interesting device to be reckoned with. In fact ligatures are finished with epoxy glue spread evenly until you pass the supporting feet of the ring on the same rod. Way they will avoid infiltration of water between the ligature and the glue main cause of the formation of unsightly white patches on the ligatures that, with the time they will inevitably cause the deterioration of those ligatures. Continue watching other technical measures adopted on this rod. Start with the spigot, a classic spigot which was, however, reinforced with a double layer of carbon, with a thick layer of glue and after it was also applied also a collar in stainless steel. All this will always ensure maximum strength. Let's see now the second piece of the rod. Starting from the spigot we immediately notice how this part has been greatly reinforced and on the ligation were included details made of silver colored ligatures, really beautiful. Same thing in this part of the rod so to delimit on the one hand the silk screen indicating the name of the rod or Max Nola Temptation MK3 and other silk screen indicating the size and poundage that is 12 feet 2. 75 pounds to 3, 25 pounds. The screen prints are of excellent quality and golden hue. About the data concerning the poundage, we're going to see it better later because they simply read so it might seem strange to many. Stainless steel collar to delimit the blank of the handle of the rod. Sober yet very elegant. Classical plaque Fuji. Excellent as always and able to accommodate every type of reel. The detail that, surely of all first jumps in the eyes the handle made entirely of cork. This in addition to having a pleasant aesthetic impact, has even more important technique because it will give us a firm grip of the rod in all conditions. As you can see the length of the handle of the rod is remarkable. This will allow us to have an excellent lever being launched and at the same time a comfortable support during the fight. Finally, the classic Imperial Fishing logo laser engraved on the beautiful Kapaloo closing the handle of the rod. As you have got to see a very sober rod in the appearance but very rich in technical content. Here I want to explain you in broad terms the fact that it is screen printed on a blank poundage like 2.75 pounds to 3.25 pounds. Not a form of marketing but it is the result of a careful study as regarding the technical profile to ensure that the angler has available a two label to cover a multitude of situations without to renounce to the entertainment or robustness. The fun will be guaranteed with either small or a larger prey and the same thing regarding the ballast to have to launch. We won't have no problem to launch weights from 2,8 ounce to 8,8 ounce not experiencing loss of power and at the same time without the rod goes into distress. So to conclude, 
The excellent IM-7 carbon combined with a particular manufacturing process has enabled the Imperial Fishing to propose a blank of this type that we will always ensure maximum enjoyment in every situation we are going to meet. No other words are necessary and the only way to see what I have told you it will be to buy and use this magnificent rod. From that moment on, I'm sure you will not look back.